Now, one of the many issues we face with narcissistic, abusive people is their ungratefulness. And now their lack of gratitude is a bigger problem than you even realize because without gratitude, without gratefulness, you have nothing but entitlement. And if you do not learn how to manage that entitlement behavior of narcissists, then it can end up robbing you of your life, your liberties, and your pursuit of happiness. Let's not allow that to happen. My name is Kevin, and this is The Royal We. Now, before we get into talking about the problems we face in dealing with the ungrateful attitude of narcissistic people, I want to let you know that I'm here for your support. Down in the description box, you'll find access to my calendar where you can schedule one-on-one -on -one time with me. So head on down to the description box of this video after this message and schedule your one-on-one -on -one time with me. Now, when we're talking about the ungrateful attitudes of narcissistic people, generally what we're talking about is their unthankfulness for your time and your energy, their unappreciation that you take the time to visit with them or spend time with them, their uh, unthankfulness in general, right? And you really see this in times where they invite you over, which is really confusing because on one hand, you think they want you around, but when you do come around, they treat you horribly, criticizing you, calling you names, uh, mocking you, trying to fight with you, whatever the case may be. And it's not selfish of you to look at these things as being absolutely wrong, right? That is wrong. That's not how you treat people when you want them around you. Isn't that right? Okay. And so this is how a normal person understands that. After all, if you were to invite somebody over to your house, for example, you have an understanding that the person you're inviting over has a life, they have things to do, they have a job, they've got things going on. So if they're taking the time to take your invitation, that's a pretty big deal. And so when they arrive, you're going to serve them. You're going to uh, honor them. You're going to be thankful. This is normal. That's healthy. That's how it should be. That's not selfish. That's normal, okay? Narcissistic people differ in that they don't see it that way. When they extend an invitation to you, they're not even thinking about your life and your schedule and whatever you got going on. They don't care. In their world of entitlement, that doesn't matter because in their world of entitlement, they're all that matters. They're the only ones that have a busy schedule, right? And so they extend an invitation to you, not thinking about what you may have to sacrifice in order to spend time with them. And then when you show up, instead of them being thankful for you taking time out of your busy schedule, because again, that doesn't matter. It doesn't compute to them. Instead, they're entitled. You showing up, you taking the invitation, you being with them has actually now granted them permission to treat you however they want to treat you. You see, without the thankfulness, without the understanding that you took time out of your busy schedule, without that gratefulness, without that gratitude, all that's left is entitlement. Oh, good, you're here. You're with me? That's right. You better be with me. Now do what I want you to do. And now this is where we get into that understanding that when you take a narcissist invitation, it's not for you. They're not inviting you over because they want to care for you, love on you, make you feel good. No. They invited you over so you can care for them, love on them, make them feel good. So there was an expectation with their invitation. Did you catch that? Narcissists have an expectation with their invitation, always. That's the deal. They're not grateful for you sacrificing your time. No, no. They're expecting that you come over and you fill a role. Whatever that role may be, they may want you to come over so you can have sex with them. They may want you to come over so you can do a song and dance for them, so you can cook some food for them, so you can play poker with them. Who knows? Whatever the case may be, you are there out of their entitlement to make them feel good, which is completely backwards of how it should be. Again, neurotypical, when we talk about normal, healthy relationships, healthy understanding, 
is that if I invite you over, I understand if you accept it, you're taking, you're making a sacrifice for me. I'm going to honor you. Not with narcissists. With narcissists, I'm inviting you over so you can please me. I don't care about what you go, got going on. You either take the invitation or you don't. I don't care. Right? And that's the difference. Now, this becomes really hard on you and on me. If we don't learn how to manage this, we manage this by knowing the entitled nature of narcissists. We manage this by knowing chances are if we're invited over, they need us to fill some kind of spot for them to feel good. And we either accept or we don't. You understand the risk in that. You become the manager of when and where and how and why you go anywhere. Because if you're not careful, what happens with narcissistic people is if you don't show up, you start showing up or if you fail uh, to show up or even if you do take the invitation and you fail to do what they want you to do, they will start to attack you. It causes narcissistic injury. It causes narcissistic rage, right? And this shows that ungratefulness. This is where that ungratefulness comes out. This is where that uh, unappreciation of you comes out. This is where they start mocking you. They start attacking you while you're with them. Why are they doing that? Well, because you're failing to do what they wanted you to do. Their whole purpose of inviting you over, again, it wasn't about you, it was so that you can do something about them. And if you fail, right, they're gonna attack you. That's it. So if you understand that, then you understand the risks that's involved with you accepting their invitation. The problem is, is that you don't want to feel bad and so you may start to keep taking these invitations simply because they make you feel guilty because that's what they do if they extend an invitation again it's not about you it's not about understanding that you have a life so if you say no for a while they're going to make you feel bad you never come around you never show up you're selfish on and on and on you're keeping this away from us you're not letting us see our grandbabies you're blah 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 blah, blah. narcissists go off the deep end of whatever has irritated and whatever offends them why because they don't care about you they're just offended because they're entitled. They don't take into consideration you have a life. They don't take into consideration that you're busy. All they know is that you are a tool that's not doing what they want you to do. Manage that. Manage that by just, uh, nah, forget it. I'm not going over. I'm not treated well when I'm around you anyways. I don't care if you're my family. I don't care if you're my mom. I don't care if you're my dad. I don't care if I was married to you. I don't care. What the case may be, you are stinky rotten when you invite me over and I don't do what you want me to do. You turn into an absolute nightmare. You go into narcissistic rage. I'm not down for that. If you want me over because you want to see me, you want to honor me as your guest the right way, then have me over. If you want to invite me over so I can please you and entertain you and do something for you, otherwise you're going to get mad and throw a fit like a big baby which narcissists are. They go into rages like big six-year-olds. You so, so you have this understanding and you manage that. And it's important so that you don't allow them to rob you of your liberty and your freedom, right? As you get stuck thinking you have to go. Listen, as I said earlier, I want to be here for your one-on-one -on -one support. So down below in the description box, you'll find access to my calendar for one-on-one -on -one time. We can do FaceTime whatsapp video calls text message consultations it's up to you it's down in the description box so head on down there right now while you're down there find access to monday night live chat on royal we live chat and uh royal we fellowship which is every saturday morning at nine o'clock a.m and that is an in-depth biblical study as it pertains to narcissism so find those links down below and follow me on instagram at join the royal we and i'll be back with more videos for you right here on the royal we